A wishing star falls from the sky and will grant any wish if found. Meanwhile, the ginger cat puss in boots is loved by many, giving away stolen money and hosting a party in someone else's house. With the owner pulling up like, My house, my wig, Iseki. You pussy, I will kill you and your mother. <laughs> Cling, cling, clang, cling. Here, slash. Hola, amigo, mamacita. So the homeowner becomes a stripper, which makes me feel bad for the guy that makes puss look like a thug. Because for all we know, this dude is just some random dude with money who didn't do anything wrong that got his house ruined, money stolen, and publicly humiliated by a cat. As some giant wakes up because of the noise puss made from the fireworks. Putting people in danger and destroying the property with the owner being kidnapped. Your dog is gay. Puss is clearly proving no matter how many wrong things a cat does, the cat will be forgiven because it's cute. Ooh, ow. Yeet. Wee. I mean, just look at all this property damage the poor civilians have to pay for. Like, if Puss didn't host the party, then the giant wouldn't wake up and no damage would be done to anything or anybody. So when Puss defeats the giant, the crowd praises him like a hero when he just got rid of the mess he created when he actually did more harm than good. Then the giant's bell kills him, but since Puss woke up the giant, he technically killed himself. Uh, where am I? I need to examine your anus, so I'm gonna put a stick up your ass. Relax. Huh? No, thank you. But you died. <laughs> <laughs> Taco. Puss isn't afraid because he knows he has nine lives. And recalls his first death was from a bull trying to get laid. The second was telling dogs cats are better. And the third was Puss trying to be Korean. And with silly deaths like eating shellfish or trying to cook, turns out Puss is on his last life. So the doctor sends him to be a lap cat and tells him to retire, but he scoffs at this idea. You ain't shit. Treats? You really got to work on your receding hairline. Hmm. Meow. <laughs> Puss then gets a drink laughing at death in retirement. Then meets what he thinks is a bounty hunter. The fuck? Sign here. You will regret trying to kill me, you bastard. Fear me. If you- Uh? Hiya! Clang. Watch me do fruity cartwheels. Uh. You gotta try harder, daddy. Whack! Yeet! Uh, need the mock swing. So Dev absolutely dominates puss as he gets cut for the first time. Uh, I got period stains? Why am I getting fluffy? Uh, I just love the smell of fear. Wait, I'm going to die? Ah, oh, shit, I'm really going to die. Clilling. Pick it up. But I'm a pussy. And Puss successfully runs away out for the sewers. Then travels to be a lap cat at Mama Luna's. So he officially retires, deciding to live a new life. Then cries like a baby. <laughs> I'm Latino. Then goes to Mama Luna. Meow. Are oh, you looking for a baby mama? I'm gonna call you Pickles, cause you tickle your pickle. What? So Mama Luna changes the way he takes a piss or eats his food. And Bro now lives life with no purpose. Meanwhile, Goldilocks and the three bears try finding the ginger cat. Who meets a dog and calls him Perito. Oh. Did you know I'm pregnant? Huh? See? Ah, the fuck? Then the bears enter and search for Puss in Boots and picks on Mama Luna. Well, how about this one? He's a ginger. You think this ugly, feral infestation of herpes is Puss in Boots? And upon seeing his grave, they give up finding him. Since they needed his help to steal the map that leads to the one wish star from Jack Horner, as Puss decides to find the wish to get his nine lives back. As Puss arrives to Jack's crib with Perito tagging along. And while Jack gets distracted, Puss goes to steal the map. Hiya! Puss? Kitty? Puss? Kitty, Iseki. Nobody likes your mama left you. Go back to catching mouse. For two weeks, I was pregnant, but I got rid of our baby. <gasps> then Goldie with the bears arrive, exposing the cats to Jack. But the cats escape with Kitty softballs being the badass she is by dominating her fights while Puss struggles with his beer gang stuff for comedic effect. They both make it to the cart while Perito drives the wagon but still fight over the map. Mine, mine. Nye, 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 nye. Puss then generously gives out gold to the people then sees the one who struck fear into his life. Meanwhile, Jack and the bears chase the cats down. The cats and dog arrive at the black forest where Puss yeets Perito and goes for a portal to arrive at some Willy Wonka's gumdrop looking ass forest. Let me see the map, shoddy. No. Yainyana. You can't stay mad at me because I have some pussy on the side. Please. But I'm cuter and your beard looks like pubes. And because the map knows the content of your heart, the environment changes due to who is touching it. So when Puss or Kitty touches it, it looks like hell, but a wonderland when Perito has the map. Then the bears arrive as they let Perito hold the map. You guys are stupid. Uh, uh. With Puss and Kitty struggling with flowers, Perito tells them you must sniff them and get high. As Perito's backstory is his family abandoning him while trying to drown him, putting him in a sock tied to a rock. So I was like swimming. Oh my god. Meanwhile, the bears get their cheeks clapped by Jack who gets closer to Puss. <laughs> and when approaching the druggy flowers, he loses a lot of men in the process. So Jack uses a bird as a flamethrower to get through. And as Puss and friends head to the wish. Uh, fuck me. No, like this. Fuck my. As Kitty teaches Perito not to trust anyone as she hasn't found anyone she can trust in her life. Ahem, <clears throat> Giddy, I've been thinking. The pubes on my chin. I know you don't like it, so keep it. Wait, what? The pubes. Looks good. <laughs> Please, it smells like shit. It's like feces on my face. And? The only poop I should sneeze is yours. Here. 
and Puss gets his beard removed. Ah, that's that handsome face, you bitch. Kitty then gives him her blade while the dog chases a stick and gets caught by Jack Horner. But at the same time, the bears arrive and an NPC fight breaks loose, with Puss witnessing an ass exploding and lost all his confidence to fight ever since he lost. As fear starts kicking in, Puss sees the wolf from a distance, then drops his sack and runs off. Like a pussy. As Kitty then loses the map to Goldie, who then takes off. We just took your map, innit? And as Puss is fighting demons, Perito catches up to him. <laughs> I want a potato. That explains he left Kitty at the day of the wedding because he was afraid in Santa Coloma. Oh, you an asshole. But Puss says he regrets it with Kitty overhearing the conversation. Meanwhile, it's Goldie who wants to make a wish with the bears helping her. But the bears get distracted by an illusion that looks like they're home, so they chill there. Puss then apologizes to Kitty about the wedding, but then turns out she didn't turn up either. Wait, so you didn't show up? Of course I didn't. Who the hell would marry you? But looking at you now, you look like a little shit. And while Jack loses all his men but one, the locust says, You're a monster. Oh, oh, what took you so long, idiot? Ah. Then Puss in Boots gets the map from the bears but gets caught by Goldie in the process. Hola. You're dead, mate. Okay, okay. Catch! And with Kitty touching the map, the environment changes. No! But the cats find out Perito was taken. And with Puss touching the map, the environment changes and they get separated because he's stupid. So Puss tells Kitty to find Perito while he tries to get out so Kitty listens, trusting him again. But Puss then encounters his past eight lives because he loves himself so much. And the bears make a trap while Kitty approaches as a roast session appears. Shouldn't you jerk off to honey? Hey, at least I'm not some porridge stealing orphan. Well, at least I ain't broke like you are. You're nothing but an uglier Cinderella. Oh, shit. It's giving dumb, fat, still living with his parents, hibernating for free, lazy ass for me. Aye, you need to get a job, mate. <laughs> oh, shut up, you little mutt. Oh, yeah? Well, you're all a... Kanna seki, shibai seki, chotto onnen seki, honey butter man, chamongnen komdori seki. He's got a point. I like him. Let's keep him. <gasps> he left us. Then the bears get trapped. While Puss gets told to leave Kitty and Perito and use the map for himself. But when Puss refuses, they laugh at him and call him a pussy. You know what? You guys are jerks. Then the wolf appears and Puss finds out he ain't a bounty hunter, but death itself. So death explains since Puss did not value any of his lives, he's come to kill him off. So Puss turns into Usain Bolt and blitzes off by himself, ignoring Kitty and Perito. No, I'm scared. Wow, he's actually leaving me again. Puss then gets to the wishing star, opens the map as the star starts glowing. All the while Goldie fights with a bear and turns out her wish is to have a proper family. What's your just right? Getting a family, that's what rather than living with you shitty little bears shitty bears hey goldie you don't and sick you didn't think i would actually stay the star then glows with mama bear saying she'll still help goldie get a wish if it'll make her happy so the bears and jack follow the star while puss gets confronted by kitty you want to know what my wish was you bastard it was you ah kitty i still cannot marry you then have the map oh but because they took too long the others caught up and the final battle takes place <laughs> What the fuck? Bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz